Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Surya. I am Bhavani Tutorials and Entertainment Channel. Friends, if you are channel, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our video, like and share your friends. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, click the bell icon and activate the all and option. If you are not subscribed to our channel, you will get a notification. Friends, if you are not like and subscribe, you will get a lot of support. Okay friends, in this video, we will talk about class Digital Assistant Important Bits. Part 29. Now, my first bit. Power factor of the following circuit will be unity. Option A. Inductive. Option B. Capacitive. Option C. Resistive. Option D. Both A and B. Answer just in. Option C. Resistive. Second bit. Power factor three phase motor is. Option A. Low. Option B. High. Option C, 0. Option D, none. Answer to C. Option B, high. Third bit. Which transmission is more efficient and requires less copper for transmitting same power over the same distance? Option A, single phase. Option B, two phase. Option C, three phase. Option D, none. Answer to C. Option C, three phase. Fourth bit. The voltage between any one line and neutral is called. Option A, line voltage. Option B, phase voltage. Option C, neutral voltage. Option D, none. Answer to C. Option B, phase voltage. Fifth bit. The voltage between any two lines is called. Option A, line voltage. Option B, phase voltage. Option C, neutral voltage. Option D, none. Answer to C. Option A, line voltage. Sixth bit. The machine which generates alternating current is called. Option A, transformer. Option B, alternator. Option C, synchronous motor. Option D, AC motor. Answer to C. Option B, alternator. Seventh bit. The weight of the rotating field is option A, light, option B, medium, option C, high, option D, none of this. Answer just say, option A, light. Eighth bit. The number of poles in the turbo alternator is option A, 16, option B, 8, option C, 6, option D, 24. Answer to C. Option D, 24. Ninth bit. The advantage of parallel operation of alternator is Option A, easy operation. Option B, production of high voltage. Option C, continuous power supply. Option D, to improve the power factor. Answer to C. Option C, continuous power supply. Tenth bit. Overload release coil protection the motor against. Option A, overloads. Option B, over voltage. Option C, over speed. Option D, overheat. Answer to C. Option A, overloads. Eleventh bit. Slip ring induction motor has. Option A, low starting torque. Option B, medium starting torque. Option C, high starting torque. Option D, zero starting torque. Answer to C. Option C, high starting torque. Twelfth bit. In a three-phase induction motor, rotator speed is always. Option A, less than synchronous speed. Option B, more than synchronous speed. Option C, equal to synchronous speed. Option D, none of this. Answer to C. Option A, less than synchronous speed. Thirteenth bit. Which capacitor is preferred in case of single phase motor? Option A, paper capacitor. Option B, ceramic capacitor. Option C, mica capacitor. Option D, electrolytic capacitor. Answer to C. Option D, electrolytic capacitor. 
14th bit a universal motor is one option a which can run on any value of sub supply voltage option b which uh, which has infinitive varying speed option c which can operate on ac as well as dc voltage option d which can works as single phase or three phase motor answer to say option c which can operate on ac as well as dc dc voltage 15th bit the starting torque of a single phase induction motor is option a uniform option b high option c low option d zero answer to say option d zero thanks for watching